There's a burn ban across the metro, and it's easy to see why. It's windy, it's dry, and firefighters in rural and suburban areas all have the same message no matter where you live. I'm Greta Gady, your Serpy County neighborhood reporter near 108th and Shram, where firefighters are telling neighbors to not burn anything at all because even a small amber can cause a fire to spread. You can find dry brush just about anywhere you go around the metro. Whether it's in fields or your backyard, firefighters are warning neighbors avoid burning anything right now. Fire weather happens not overnight. It's, it's been kind of a perfect storm of events. And as conditions reach a critical point, Jacob Hardeman, chief of Lewis Township Fire and Rescue, is telling neighbors what they do today can have an impact days later in conditions like this. It's not the day that we burn, it's three or four days later when the wind really picks up and it gets hot and dry again, uh, and then it starts wildfires. So While he's worried about these fires tearing through farmland, Ty Cole, captain at Papillion Fire, is worried about those flames hitting neighborhoods. But once we get into the neighborhoods, you know, then we're talking not just brush fires, you know, they can transition into structures and they can burn houses down, they can burn buildings down, cars, people. So those are things that we try to um, plan to avoid. Cole also says although neighborhood brush might not be as dry, even using wood or charcoal grills in your own backyard is a risk right now. It's, it's so dry, one little ember that kind of floats up in a way that you don't even know about might land in somebody else's yard or in somebody else's uh, field. Cole says neighbors should even avoid using outdoor candles and bug sprays. And both fire stations agree. If neighbors see anything, call the fire station because unreported fires will spread fast. Cole says this burn ban will continue until there is a significant amount of moisture, whether that be rain or snow. In Papillion, I'm Greta Gady, your Sarpy County neighborhood reporter.